This is how to boost FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. By using these methods, you will get more FPS, fix FPS drops, reduce input latency, and boost FPS in the new Fortnite Season 4. These will work for all low-end, mid, and high-end PCs or laptops, regardless if you are on Nvidia or even AMD, as well as on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is the complete Fortnite Season 4 optimization guide for the best performance possible. So let's dive into it. Now I will be going more in depth about the game settings and the best config file etc in later videos but for the sake of this video go down into the description and download the Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 5 FPS pack. Once you have it downloaded, simply right click and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or really whatever you want. Once extracted, open it up and inside of here you will find a bunch of files and folders. You are gonna of course start off with creating a system restore point by clicking on your system drive and then clicking on create, naming it anything such as even restore and clicking on create create once more. Now of course you won't be needing this but I still do recommend that you create one. Then we're gonna move on to the UAC. So open up this folder. First off we're gonna be disabling the UAC because it is required by some of the tweaks to be applied properly. However this isn't recommended by Windows so at the end of the video when you have applied all of the tweaks you can come back here and enable UAC back. So to disable it simply double click on it, hit yes then hit ok and then go ahead and restart your computer for this to take effect. Now that I assume you have disabled the UAC, go back into the pack and we're gonna start start off with some of the basic optimizations regedit. This is going to automatically change a bunch of windows settings as well as some additional settings that are going to tremendously improve the snappiness and the overall performance of your windows. This ranges from little privacy settings to advanced registry edits which you can check by right clicking on it and then clicking on edit and going through this whole list. But in order to use it you can simply go ahead and double click on it then hit yes and then hit ok. Then we're gonna move on to the keyboard and mouse optimizations. For that open up this folder and we're gonna start off with the keyboard optimizations so open up the kb.txt file. Inside of here you will see that we need to disable the repeat delay to none and also repeat rate to short. For that you will need to go to your start menu and search for keyboard then open up the keyboard settings and inside of here make sure that the repeat delay is set to short and the repeat rate is set to fast. Then hit apply and then ok. Then if your keyboard comes with a software we need to set the hertz or any settings related to that to the highest option available and we also need to disable rbg. Now I know that a lot of you might not want to do this but if you want to get the lowest input delay for your keyboard then you will have to disable this at least while playing the game. So go ahead and open up your keyboard software. For me it's my Yunzi driver keyboard. Now my software doesn't have any hertz or any polling rate settings so I'm gonna skip that and instead go to lighting and disable my RGB and turn it off. Once done I can close out of this and it is recommended that you delete the software afterwards but if you're gonna be re-enabling the RBG then make sure that you keep it. But now that we're done with keyboard optimizations we can move on to the mouse optimizations. For this one we will need to open up the start menu once more and search for mouse. Then open up the mouse settings. Then inside of here go to the additional mouse options. Then go to the pointer options. Then make sure that this bar is set to the sixth dot from the right. And also make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked. Then hit ok. And we are gonna be going ahead and changing some of the settings inside of the software as well. Now the settings for mouse are much more important than your keyboard since these softwares provide much more customizability compared to keyboard softwares. So open up your mouse software. For me it's my red dragon and once it opens up we're gonna be starting off by disabling the rbg then we can move on to the dpi and set the report rate or polling rate or whatever you have to the highest one available also make sure that if you have the debounce time make sure to set that to the lowest one pointer scheme should be set to none or it really doesn't matter actually as for your dpi 1600 is recommended and as you can see i have set all of my dpis to 1600 for some weird reason the 1600 dpi actually gives you the lowest input delay and if you want to increase or decrease the sensitivity you should be doing it inside of the game and not from here. Once done you can close out of this, close out of this and then go inside of the reg folder. Here are a bunch of registry files starting from disabling D search or driver search all the way to fixing mouse and keyboard queue sizes. Now a lot of you might have seen people messing with different keyboard and mouse queue sizes which can result in mouse shifting or teleporting so I have applied all of the best values for you here which you can simply use to get the lowest input delay without worrying about any of the negative side effects. So all you will need to do is double click on these reg files then hit yes hit ok and then repeat the same thing for all of the ones inside of this folder. 
Once done, go back into the pack and go into the registry tweaks folder. Inside of here, starting from CPU speed, this is basically going to make sure that all of the cores are working at their maximum. For the disable DVR1 and 2, this is going to disable the Windows game bar, which I really don't recommend. Instead, you should be using something like OBS or even Nvidia Shadowplay is better than Windows game bar. For the disable GPU energy driver, this is a background service that used to be useful but not anymore, so we're gonna be disabling it. Double click, hit yes, and then hit OK. Then for the disable HD content protection, I have made in-depth videos about this as well as Spectre and Meltdown. However, for Spectre and Meltdown, if you still wanna know what these are, these are basically the security patches that are no longer required since most modern browsers come with these patches built into them. So they're completely useless and hogging up CPU and the Windows resources. So double click hit yes, hit OK and then they should be disabled. Then this one will run the game in exclusive full screen ensuring that you have the lowest input delay and also get the maximum FPS since it is also recommended by Fortnite itself. Then for the memory management option. Optimizations. Once again, this is going to optimize the page pool sizes, so double click, hit yes, and then hit OK. Go back into the pack and open up GPU tweaks. Now, if you are an AMD user, then go into this folder, copy the settings from all of these images, and at the end, apply this registry file. Then restart your PC, or maybe wait till the end. But if you are an Intel user, open up this folder and copy the settings from this one into your Intel control panel. However, if you are an NVIDIA user just like me, then open up the NVIDIA settings. First, go into the NVIDIA inspector, and this is the profile that I have created for the latest drivers so make sure that you have updated your nvidia drivers to the latest ones and then simply drag the arachnetic nvidia profile.nip file onto the nvidia inspector and once it's successfully imported hit ok now you have the best nvidia control panel as well as the nvidia app settings without even having to go through all of that then go back and apply the nvidia gpu tweaks dot reg hit yes and then hit ok once again you will require a windows restart however we will be restarting at the end go back into the back and go into the bad tweaks first open up the drive tweaks and inside of here there are hard drive as well as ssd tweaks now if your windows is installed on a hard drive then use this one however if your windows is installed on an ssd then use this one so right click run it as admin now go back and we can move on to applying all of these tweaks the bcd tweaks if you want to look inside what they actually do then right click click on edit and inside of here this is going to disable the dynamic tick as well as hpet and synthetic timers which is highly recommended by any windows tweaker if you have ever seen them or even in the windows optimizer etc so right click run it as admin and once it's done press any key to continue for the clear dns cache this is going to improve your ping not only in fortnite but also in other games as well so right click run as admin once more and then press any key to continue for the delete log files as well as delete temporary files these are going to delete all of the windows log files as well as the temporary files that have been piling up on your drive eating up your storage and slowing down your windows these are completely useless files so it's fine to delete them all simply right click run as admin and then just wait for it to delete all of the files once done, do the same thing for the delete temporary files. For the disable memory compression, first you need to know what memory compression does. So it basically compresses a section or region of memory that is used by background processes. In theory, this should be good. However, in practical implementation, it can affect the services or the files that are required for your game as well. So disabling it is your best option. Simply right click and run as admin. For the disable nature link, this is a very popular algorithm that is always recommended by not only the Windows optimizers and tweakers etc. but on many forums online as well so right click run it as admin and that's it disable process mitigation once again do the same thing run it as admin going back into the pack open up the power tweaks and inside of here i have completely updated the Recnotech power plan as you can see i just updated it yesterday however to import it you will first need to use this import power plan dot reg so make sure that you apply this one then you should be able to import the power plan simply by double clicking on it and then open up the power plans from here and under hide additional plans you should now have the Recnotech power plan simply apply it and also make sure that you disable power throttling then hit yes and then hit ok however if you're on a laptop with a lot of heating issues then i recommend that you don't disable the power throttling and move on to the next tweaks going back into the pack open up the disk tweaks and open up the readme first now the credit for these tweaks goes to corvy tech i will leave the link to his youtube channel in the description down below starting off you're going to be disabling the hyper boot for both our hdd as well as our ssd so double click hit yes and then hit ok then moving on to the hard drive or ssd behavior change now if you only have a hard drive 
drive installed, then use both of these CMDs. But if you only have an SSD, then use both of these. However, if you have both a hard drive and an SSD like me, then skip this one and move on. Open up the SSD nodes and inside of here are a bunch of commands similar to the ones that I have previously opened. However, in order to apply these, all you need to do is open up the start menu, search for CMD and run it as admin. Now what we need to do is copy these commands one by one by right clicking, click on copy and then pasting them inside of the CMD and then hitting enter. Do the same thing for the rest of the commands here as well. So simply copy them, paste them inside of here and then hit enter. These settings are instantly applied so you won't even need to restart your computer. Once done, you can close out of this, close out of this as well and go into the readme once more. Now here are some other tips that should be really helpful including that you should clear up space on your SSD in order to improve the performance and getting a larger SSD can give greater performance too because they have better DRAM cache. Now for this third one, you will need to actually turn off scheduled optimization. In order to do that, open up the start menu once more and search for defragment and optimize drives then open it up. Then click on on your solid state drive then under the scheduled optimizations click on change settings and make sure that these both are turned off then hit ok now the scheduled optimization should be turned off hit close and that's it close out of this go back into the pack and open up the cpu folder first up we are going to be unpacking our cpu cores so open this folder right click on the unpack cpu and run as admin once this opens make sure that the core parking index is set to 100 percent or maybe click on unpark all then hit ok then hit apply ok once more and this is going to make sure that none of the CPU cores are sitting idle while you are gaming, ensuring that you get the maximum performance. Then hit close, go back and we're gonna be starting off with the interrupt affinity policy. So right click and run as admin. Now this tool will give you a lot of errors while applying these changes but don't panic or don't worry, they're completely fine and normal, just simply hit ok to skip them. Now once you have this tool open, you can use this info.txt to guide you or you can just simply follow me. Search for your USB root hubs, then click on them, click on set mask and then set them to the highest number CPU available for you. Since I only have 4 cores, CPU 3 is my highest one available. However, if you have more cores, then you will of course have more of these options. Just unload it onto the highest number CPU. Then hit OK. It will ask you to restart device. Hit No. We will be restarting later. Hit OK. Then find other USB root hubs or USB host controllers and do the same thing for them. And then in the end, you will need to find your GPU. So simply go ahead and find your GPU, such as my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. Once you have it, click on set mask and set it to CPU 2. Now this is the one that I recommend even if you have more cores or more threads, setting it to CPU 2 should work the best for most of you. So make sure that you set your GPU to CPU 2, then hit OK and then finally click on done. Then moving on to the MSI utility, you will need to run this as admin as well. Now once this opens up, go to your graphics card and make sure that under supported modes it does say MSI and then ensure that the MSI box is checked. As for the interrupt priority, a lot of people will tell you to set it to high, however setting it to undefined will will work the best for all of you. So make sure that you set it to undefined, then go on to your HD audio controller and once again make sure that it does say MSI under supported modes and make sure that the MSI box is checked. Once all of it's done, hit apply and then close out of the tool. Go back into the pack one last time and this time we're gonna be cleaning up the devices that were previously connected to your computer. So right click on this, then run it as admin. This is going to show you a list of all the devices that were once connected to your computer but are no longer present. So there is no use to keeping the cache of all of these devices. Is. Simply click any of these ones, then select all of them by pressing Ctrl plus A on your keyboard, then press the delete key to remove all of these devices. Now you can close out of this program, close out of this pack, restart your computer and then launch into Fortnite to enjoy much more FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Season 4.